Hey guys, so today is our side pose into our Superman and I know so many of you are working on this and it was a nemesis of mine for so long, like I can't even, I'm sure it was like over nearly two years or something like that and I used to always get into a piped position, my butt would get stuck and I'd be up high and all sorts so um, I completely understand and resonate with so many of you that are struggling with this one but one of the things that will really help is leg lifts okay and doing these just you know as part of your warm-up so I'm going to show you what the superman position looks like first how we do it from the side pose and then we will show you what to do on the floor okay so Okay, so being able to lift your leg off the pole is so important for this move. The more you can lift it up, the easier it is to be able to turn, okay? So if we come and sit down on the floor, we can just work on these leg lifts. So if we sit in a straddle position, make sure you're sat in your tailbone. If you feel a bit grounded like this, you're going to need to sit on a block, okay? So you just plop that block under your butt. Make sure you're sat on his head and you should feel like you're more upright, okay? If you're here, you're not going to benefit from it. So make sure you sat on a block and nice and tall, okay? So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage my quad muscles. I'm thinking about pushing the back of the knees down towards the floor and my heels may lift. They may not. Some of you will, some of you won't. Don't worry about it too much. But as long as you can feel that your quads are engaged, we're good. And obviously we'll keep our toes pointed because we always do in pop as much as we can. So I'm going to turn to face one leg. And I'm going to place my hands either side of that leg, okay? I want you to avoid leaning back. So hands either side, think up nice and tall. You can push your fingertips down. I'm going to try to lift that leg as high as I can, slowly down, but don't bash the heel down. So I don't want to see that, okay? So nice and tall, take a deep breath. As you exhale, we're going to lift, slowly down. And again, up, slowly down, go a little bit higher, up. Slow down. So I want you to see if you can do at least five without that leg bending. You may feel a bit of cramp in your quad. You may need to bend it and give it a massage. That's fine. And obviously we need to make sure we do the other side. So I don't want to be uneven. So if you want to join me for doing that, that's good. So we're going to engage. Hands down either side. I'm sitting nice and tall. And I'm going to try and lift. Slowly down. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay, so another exercise you can do as well, this is all great conditioning stuff, you can do like once you've done a, a warm up, you can do this at the end of your warm up, part of your conditioning before getting on the pole. There's so another one I like to do is actually come and lay down next to your pole, so that you're sort of in line with the belly, or the belly button in line with the pole, does that make sense? And then from here, I'm going to straighten both legs out, I'm going to lift one leg up, and I'm going to take it over, and I'm going to touch my toes down on the floor and back up. If you find that easy, you're going to move further down, so you have to squeeze the leg up higher. So now the pole's more in line with my chest. So I'm going to lift my leg up, okay, so I'm staying on my hip, so up and over. You're going to make sure you don't touch the pole as much as you can, so you actively have to squeeze up a little bit more and back again. So straight up and over, so I'm going to do five here. So five. Four, three, two, and one. Cool. So now we've done one side, we need to do the other. So I also have my top hand in front, okay? So from here, I'm not placing this hand behind. I don't want to try and roll back. I want to stay completely on my hip, okay? So start in line with your belly button first. So we can either do bend the bottom leg if you prefer, or straighten it, it's completely up to you. So we're going to make sure we're a little bit closer to the pole. So we have to try and lift up and squeeze over. So if you've got this huge gap here, you know you can go a little bit further down. So I'm going to go in line with my chest and do the same thing. So I have to squeeze a little bit more to make sure that I don't touch the pole. Okay, I've got five up here. Five, four, don't lean back. Three, two, and one. Lovely. Okay, so let's get on the pole. 
So when we go and do your side pose, it's important that your top hand, so once you're taking your top hand off, we're gonna place it onto the pole, just above the knee. So many people put their hand on too high and then that's why they struggle to get their leg over. So we can do this from the floor, okay? Obviously I showed you from an invert, but you can totally keep nice and low towards the ground to work on this one. So I'm just gonna show you from the floor. So we're gonna get into our side pose, okay? So from here, we need to make sure this bottom hand is lower than our hip, okay? We don't want it just under the hip, okay? We need a distance. We need to be able to use that palm and pushing the pole into, the, into your thigh, okay? If you're too close here, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So make sure it's lower and you bring that leg towards you. And you keep that distance. We want to try and avoid sliding down to get towards that hand, okay? If you do that, that's going to make it a lot harder. So we need to make sure the side pose is super solid, okay, that you don't slide down. So if you want to like just pull up your shorts to expose a little bit more skin to help, that would be good. So, from here, I'm squeezing this bottom leg in, okay, just as always for my side pose, giving me that grip. And then I would obviously take my top hand off. My top hand is going back onto the pole with a slight bend in my arm. I don't want the hand up here. And the reason why is because when I lift the leg, it's really hard to get off. What I'm going to do is move the hand down. I can engage my biceps. I'm pulling in. I'm going to straighten the leg by pushing the back of the knee into the pole. And then I'm going to try and lift the leg towards me. So just like what we did on the floor, we're trying to lift the legs up. So you're going to push, you can engage uh, your quads, so pushing the back of the knee into the pole rather than the floor. And then I'm going to try and squeeze that leg so it's coming towards my shoulder. Can you see the gap? Okay, that's the first step, okay? So being able to get into your side pose, make sure your top hand goes on in this, uh, just above the knee, the bent arm position. And you're going to try and straighten the top leg, pushing the back of the knee into the pole. Then it's a case of working on your lifts, okay? So you don't have to think about anything else. So do the floor lifts, okay? Just to get those muscles activated, and then take it onto the pole. So don't even think about doing your Superman straight away. So we're gonna think again. Why have I like start with three, and then you can always build up. So from here, hand on, straighten, put the toes engage the quad, lift, five, four, three, two, and one, okay? I know I said three and then I did five, I'm sorry. Uh, but you know what I mean, so you can start off like with three, then you go up to five, maybe seven, 10, you know, keep going up. We're really just trying to get as much of that leg off the pole, okay? So that's step one. Once we can take the leg off the pole, we're going to lower it down towards the bottom leg, okay? So I want you trying to keep that leg off until it gets low, and then I'm trying to like, push the pole away. Let's show you that bit, so. So from here, straighten, lift. I'm gonna lower down, and then it's quite high on my thigh. I'm not bending my legs. I'm pushing this leg towards my bottom leg, okay? And as I do this, I already want to turn my hips, okay? So that's a good thing. So once you can get in that position, lowering the leg down, you're ready to turn. Now what is really important to do is not allow the shoulder to come down. If you have this shoulder coming down, you'll probably end up hiking your butt. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, from here, lift. If I go up, and if I don't roll the shoulder back and roll it down, I end up getting in this position, which I know some of you said you get into. Uh, I, I, I did that for so long, okay? So you want to lift and point your legs down, and then you're gonna roll the shoulder back. As you roll the shoulder back, this is gonna make you want to lift the bottom hand off the pole. And it can be a little bit scary. You may even turn slightly as well as you squeeze your legs, because obviously we're starting in one position with our hips facing up, and then we want our hips facing down, right? So we're gonna lift, lower, roll the shoulder back, and then I want you to turn your chest. And I don't want you to think about chest to the floor, I actually want you to think chest to the wall, or even about the chest up, okay? That'll keep your shoulder all the back. So again, So here, hand on, straighten, lift, down. Now, roll the shoulder back, so not down, 
back. I'm gonna squeeze, I'm pushing the pole away with the thigh. You can even cross your ankles if you prefer, but as you do this, I'm gonna push off the bottom of the pole, and I'm trying to almost, I'll tell you a little tip that I do in a minute. So I'm really trying to think about chest up, hips down, I'm squeezing my butt, okay? You can place your hands down onto the floor and lower down, whichever way you prefer to get out. Okay, don't just let it go. So, my little tip for you, for a lot of people, they get around and they spin, okay? They're like, ah, right? And they do, their hand just wants to come off. So what I want you to do is, once you've turned over, is I want you to ground onto the pole, and I want you to imagine that you're trying to twist the pole, okay? So when you've got a hold of it, and you start to spin, then you'll find that your thumb will come off and then you'll just be on your, on your fingers. I want you to grab on and I want you to try and twist the pole in the direction of your fingers. Does that make sense? So depending on which hand you've got on, obviously it will depend on which way you twist. So you're gonna roll, turn over, and then twist, 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 and it will slow the speed of you spinning off, and then you'll stop, okay? So it really gets the shoulders engaging without you even thinking about engagement. Does that make sense? So I'm just trying to think about physically twisting the pole, okay? Okay, one more time, right? Okay, I think we've covered all most of the steps. So, side pose. Make sure there's a gap between your hip, bottom hip, and the bottom hand. I've also still got my index finger dial. Top hand, just above my knee, in a slight bent arm position, engaging my biceps. Straighten, and then lift, okay? Get that leg off the pole. Lower down, roll the shoulder back, and we start to lift the chest, squeeze the thighs together, release the bottom hand, twist on the pole, twist, 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 and keep the chest up nice and high. As I do this, I'm also lifting my legs, squeezing my butt, okay? You can place your hands down onto the floor. So when I'm a little bit higher, I just tend to lower one leg down, okay? So taking one foot towards the ground, I'll show you what I mean. So, everything we've just done from the floor, goes either up the pole, so whether you're going from your side climb or your in back, okay? So I'm gonna show you from a side climb. So, alrighty guys, so here we go. Hand on, straighten, lift, down, squeeze, roll the shoulder back, release, lift, okay? So from here, I'm just gonna lower one leg down towards the ground, and then I'll, if, even if you're wearing shorts, you'll come onto your shorts and you'll slide out of that position. Okay? I'm going to show you one more, just for a minute, but why not? So remember, shoulders back. So when I take the leg down, I don't know if I covered it, but as I put the leg down, I'm literally trying to push the thigh into the pulse. I'm trying to push the pole away. Okay? Let's go a slightly different position. Alrighty. So I might spin and face the wall, but I just wanted to give you a different uh, position to look at. So from here, push. Chest up, shoulder back, straighten, lift, down, push the thigh in. And I'm also gonna push off the bottom of the hand. So as I push, lift the chest, okay? Twist on the pole, use that hand. Hold, squeeze, fall, okay? Then lower one leg down and slide out. All right, guys, any questions with that? Give me a shout, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know in the comments below and obviously share about to help others too. See you later.